Okay, so uh, just another quick video, I guess, tutorial, and we'll be learning how to make this. For this one, you are going to need to download the link in the sidebar. So you're first going to download that, and then you're going to import the p um, the pitch you get with it. I'm just going to find it here and shove that on a um, shove that on its own uh, video track and insert another video track. So you got to make this about 15 seconds long, and that'll be fine. Um, and you're also going to want to get the picture of the paintbrush. Okay, so I've uh, found mine and you're just going to shove it onto the timeline. And it should automatically, if I set this up the best, full, automatically remove the background and you'll just have this. Okay, but this is a bit big, so we're going to uh, click on uh, event, pram slash crop, and right click to match output aspect. Then you're gonna make this significantly bigger, about this size. Make sure this is set to that, and that's the So, okay, so after you've done that, you're gonna want to insert another video, uh, video track. So now you have three one with the background, one with the paintbrush, and now this one going to go to media generators, text, sample text, uh, I'm just going to type text 1 but you'll type anything you want and put this in a font that looks cool um, but for here I use this on every font hit the size up to about 126 on this one and um, effects you just want draw outline set to black and shadow should look good and that's it let's just shorn that down uh, like that we're going to copy it and paste it okay just leave a little bit of a gap between them for the moment we'll fix that in a sec then we're going to go to um, transitions and find um, Gradient wipe, and then you can look for paint splatter. Oh, oh yeah, and then you're gonna put that on the start and the end of all your videos, so uh, all your text things. So to speed it up. Okay, so don't worry about resizing; it should be about the right length. Okay, so now we're gonna move these all back to together again. And move this out to about 16. Uh, actually, let's do 17 seconds. Or is that 18? No, is that 17? And um, same with the paintbrush. So it should have text one. And it will look a bit like this. So, pretty good. But we're going to add a bit more before um, we're finished okay we're gonna wanna re-put that gap in slightly to about this just so between them there's a little bit of a break it looks better like preview auto just so there's a little bit of a little bit of a break and it makes it look nicer and Okay, um, when I was doing this, I realised that the paintbrush, just sitting there, looks a bit idle. We need some effect on it, so I went to um, Video FX and found Light Rays, Intense, and I have them here. Um, in light rays. I'll show you these in a sec, just let me copy them over. 
uh, you're going to want to go to about 5 seconds, 10 seconds and 15 seconds. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. And then these are the settings you want. First one, none, none. Bottom radius all have the same. Second one, uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you're kind of getting a, a glow there, but it needs to be kind of here-ish. Second one, there, towards the middle of the page, not changing any values, just changing the position of this. And then the third one, none again, and that just repeats for the other for the two. So, yeah. Um, and then, at the end, we want to show soft noise and place that on the end of this, uh, on the end of the paintbrush one, and turn it up slightly so it lines up kind of there. It doesn't really matter, do whatever. Okay, so here it is again. This is the final piece. Okay, so remember you can download the whole of this as a template when you can change text one to say whatever you want. Um, obviously, these will be text two and text three. Um, you can change them to whatever you want, and it should just work. And you can use this. Uh, royalty free so thanks for watching this has been MH Tutorials bring you another new tutorial